first production with Vidya Balan, and what yeah. fun we had working in Shantanu <laughs> studio. The food yeah. we ate, the oh, golf God. we did, the adda that happened. Oh God! Do you remember how much chaat we ate? <laughs> my god i think every recording was just music to bahana tha it was mainly to just do adda and uh, the food sessions that's actually how it is with shantanu you know that he just makes sure that uh, we are all well fed so the, we forget the 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 pain. in fact i remember the fact that when we were doing uh, one of our songs i think there was a whole dancing session in the studio for about half an hour on that song <laughs> everyone did ball dancing swanan and everyone you guys were dancing so much and uh, yeah i have some some sweet memories of babu jaggar and of course i i've got goosebumps <laughs> because it's one of the most special memories of my life actually i have to admit that every time i have been with you in a recording studio i have felt so alive the energy is so tangible so palpable and so beautiful but my most favorite memory is the most recent one we had which was you coming to yashraj studios yeah you and sunidhi both of you actually came in around yes. the same time yeah and <laughs> uh, you recorded mere desh ki zameen which was a wild anthem that we made for india yes what a beautiful song and for what a wonderful cause i cherish that as a great great one of the greatest memories of my life and having to do not just music but for something so special so i just have to thank you for making that happen no, <laughs> i'm just so grateful you said yes we were also grateful you said yes but i i've always known in my heart that you never say no to anything that matters to you deeply i want to talk a little yeah. more about that right now with you shreya right. um you know the world right now is witnessing such a extreme situation uh i don't think we've in our lifetimes at least in yours and mine i'm sure for for more actually in many lifetimes i mean even the elderly in our families have been through riots and other situations where they've kind of had to stay home in curfew time but i don't think we've witnessed this kind of um displacement and pain and loss and um those who are privileged enough to stay home stay safe be close to their loved ones mm. use technology to communicate to continue work to do yeah. things that really mm. matter to them um are getting the opportunity to just say witness nature for one i'm seeing a lot of people you know sharing on social media sunrises sunsets bird song just images that they are seeing from the windows of their homes or the terraces of their apartment complexes and i think we're collectively recognizing how it's how how important it is to just stop right pause a little bit yeah um as an artist as a singer i know that you would have done robindro shongit yes of you course done. i bengali family you know so we have grown up uh, listening to this most so of it i have learned song. from my mom <laughs> so there's a song by uh, robindranath thakur called akash bhara surjo tara yeah and mm. it's it's a song that reminds me that actually coming to think of it so much of music and so much poetry and, and and so many songs are all inspired by nature and they are actually would be so um at such a loss if we didn't have inspiration from nature tell me what what is your earliest memory of anything mm. from that was inspired by nature that really struck you deeply that you sang a lot that really you know connected with you deeply i think i am um yeah i don't think many people know but i don't uh, i've uh, my childhood was not spent in a big city like mumbai i came to the city when i was 13 years old so i grew up in a quaint little township in rajasthan and when you hear rajasthan you think it's an arid 
desert kind of a place but it wasn't it was very green we were on the banks of river uh, actually you know chambal jo nadi hai uske banks pe we had a huge dam on it and we were surrounded by, by just greenery and trees and uh, mountains and uh, we used to trek we used to hike we had picnics all the time so i have grown up uh, amidst such um, you know proximity of nature that i've literally woken up to the you know alarm of not jo abhi ke alarms hote hain na which uh, which has a bird tweeting to it i have actually woken up to birds actually tweeting you know um so uh, i think uh, my connection with nature has been from the very beginning and i'm very grateful to that i didn't have the uh, distraction of um, i wouldn't say i would say it's distraction it was not something i missed i'm glad i missed it in the initial years we didn't have restaurants we didn't have theaters i've not seen a th- movie in a theater till i came to bombay you know so uh, so having that kind of peace and uh, minimalism in life really uh, made me uh, learn music much better i mean i could hear every sur without any you know auto ki awaaz nahi aa rahi hai truck ki awaaz nahi aa rahi it's just a uh, rustling of trees and uh, wind uh, passing through the mango trees that we had in our garden and um, squirrels yeah squirrels. and uh, squirrels and uh, and literally because wahan pe jaise summers aane lage so you could start hearing the quail you know it was the indication now the the the, the season is changing and i mean i have just beautiful memories and every season had i remember songs that i grown up listening to with each season like i remember uh, monsoons when it's to strike monsoons we i had to travel about 80 kilometers by st bus to get to my guruji teacher the nearest okay. city was that far and we had to pass through a jungle so um, we have had so many such incidences when on the way there was a leopard which crossed and so the bus kind of stood and just waited for it to cross so that it could go and drink water i have had that proximity to uh, wildlife in that way and i really love the fact that people we were a township of uh, scientists and engineers we were in a you know my dad worked for a nuclear power plant he's an engineer but the people locals there respected uh, nature so much